Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop. Just gonna keep this video super quick today. I had this issue pop up yesterday. It was Sunday evening and I couldn't find anything about this online. So if you have an issue pop up with your Tormach automatic tool changer late in the evening on a Sunday, hopefully you'll find this video and it'll answer some questions for you. So what I had pop up is I turned my machine on and I went to look and I couldn't find my automatic tool changer. I was trying to change out some tools I went to the status tab and I found this error. It said, check the ATC USB cabling or fuses, switching mill to manual tool change to repair it. When you repair the problem, re-enable in the settings tab. So I went to the settings tab, tried to kick it off again. I hit the automatic tool changer and it did show up for me again, but you can see it's totally blank, doesn't have any information in it. And it's only gonna stay on here for about 20 or 30 seconds and then we're going to see the status light pop up again and that's going to repeat that same error. So there we go. Status tab pops up and we get the same error again. So not going to work. And I did go into the main electrical cabinet for the machine and I was able to find the fuse for this. I checked it. It was perfectly good on the the fuse box in there, you can see you've got a couple rows of fuses and the upper row of fuses, the one on the right was for the automatic tool changer. It does show that on the card, you can read that on there. The fuse was fine, so I sent a trouble ticket over to Tormach and this is a known issue and it turns out it's actually the board on the automatic tool changer. What's interesting though is that because of the air and what's going on, you can't even manually change tools. So it says it switched over to manual tool changes, but you can't even manually do that without rerunning an air hose. I will drop in a couple of pictures that Tormach sent me on how you can reroute your air hose quickly to override this and get your machine operational if you want to. So to rerun those air lines, you're gonna to need to take off the back panel. And this is the view at the back of your automatic tool changer. You're gonna to need to move air line one into position where number two is in the picture. Then you'll need to remove an additional cover on the side of your automatic tool changer to access the PDB solenoid. And you're gonna to need to push the override button on that. It's gonna be on top behind the air hoses in the picture. Uh, they've overnighted the new part to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait until tomorrow when the new part gets here and I'll show the installation of that and then just get my machine up and running that way. All right, so here's what's inside my ATC currently. This is the front over here. This is the side up against the machine. So the known issue is that this red motherboard in here seems to fail. I actually posted this on a forum after I had the issue, had several other people come in and inform me that they've had the same issue. So this is what's driving it. Uh, when Tormach got back to me, you have to have the machine out of e-stop and then they're going to ask you what lights you're seeing. So you can see that I've got power going to it over here on this stepper driver, but there's no lights on the motherboard itself. I did when I first turned it on. I ended up having a couple blinks on G and a couple blinks on V, uh, but then after about 20, 30 seconds, those stop. As soon as I informed them that was the issue, they said, yep, known issue. They're going to send me a new board. So these red boards are no good. We're going to replace that with a green one. And and it's kind of nice. You actually get rid of this stepper driver out of here. So we're going to pull this unit out. The new motherboard has the stepper driver integrated right into it. So that's going to get rid of this cable, get rid of this cable. And then we're just going to unplug these three green ones. It leaves a couple more here to plug in. And then this USB cable, screw the new board down. And literally it should take us just a couple minutes to knock that out. Uh, the motherboard they want returned, this stepper driver, they actually said I can keep that. And if you have the fourth axis, apparently it's the same stepper driver for that fourth axis so it becomes a nice spare to keep for when you have that in place so that's what's going on in the ATC as soon as that new part arrives should be a pretty quick job to change that over and get this thing up and running again all right I'm gonna make this install as easy as I can so I'm gonna pop off the back panel make it a lot easier to get to this ATC in there and wait until tomorrow for this part to show up so let's get this off stay tuned till tomorrow Now, I don't have any glue on this gasket material. I'm always amazed at how well this rubber just adheres itself when I don't take this door off very often. But this is just, it's sticking to the paint. Like I say, I don't have any type of glue or anything on here. Voila, and we're in. Well, you can see now we're completely in. Came with a good set of instructions on what we're gonna go ahead and remove out of here, but this whole stepper driver, this is going to come out. The new board 
comes with one of these integrated and built in, so we're going to remove this completely. A couple of plugs to take out here, and those won't be getting plugged back into the new board, so this whole set of wires disappears. And the rest of these plugs on here, these are all going to unplug off of this board. We're going to take out this red board completely, drop the green one in, plug them back in. Should really just take a matter of minutes to go ahead and get that completed. Well, the new board arrived from Tormach. I did verify before I shut the machine down that I had updated to the latest version of PathPilot. I don't remember what number it was actually on now, but definitely higher than 2.4. So I do have that installed. The machine is shut down. So let's go ahead and get this on there and we will get out with the red and in with the green. Let's go. All right, I think with the camera there, we should be able to get the whole process. So we'll just unplug. These wires we're not going to use anymore. Get those out of there. And we're going to unplug the rest of these wires. There's really only one way to put them back in on the new board. So it shouldn't be too difficult to reorient them. All right, we've got a couple of ground wires we'll get back over there. And our USB plug. All right, we should have everything unplugged. It's a 2.5 millimeter socket wrench here. And we are going to reuse these same screws on the new board. And that's it, red board is out of there. All right, it's a little seven millimeter nut on this stepper driver. Again, this is useful for if you have a fourth axis, a good spare, so we'll save that for another time. And I'm going to go ahead and put the nut back on this side just to make sure nothing rattles loose. I'm going to double check. I don't know that the instructions said anything about these ground wires, but I'm can only imagine we need those, so I'm going to make sure I put those back in place. Now, everything on this one plugs in vertically instead of the other way around. I think I'm gonna have to clip those twist ties off there. Just a little too much stress to bend it around that far. And that should be it. Our green board should be installed and ready to go. I'm gonna unplug the airline because when we first boot this up, we do need to realign the plus minus on our tool tray. That is the one piece of information that's stored on this board and not stored in the main path pilot controller. Need to manually push the tool holder over there and just again, make sure that that plus minus on the tray rotation is aligned correctly. And then we should be ready to fire this completely back up and go. All right, we're booted up. I am still not seeing a ATC in there yet. I'm hoping when I come out of e-stop, that's what's gonna kick that off. Or we may have to go into settings and turn it back on. Those were the instructions we had before. All right, so let's try that. We'll go into settings. All right, looking for a firmware update. All right, looks like it's gonna take a few minutes. We'll come back when that is ready to go. It'll definitely have more lights on this green board and this is what's blinking and this is what's going while it's doing that firmware update right now got busy flashing don't have that stepper driver in here with power on that so you can see the voltage everything lit up on this new board all right that only took a few minutes i 
if I was supposed to do that or not, but it always wants to boot up in e-stop, so that seemed like the logical thing to do there. It also said don't e-stop. I don't know. All right, so we've got an ATC tab still showing up on reboot. And we're back too. We have tooling in the tab. Everything seems to be back on, except it's kind of weird. It is showing that this tool is in the tool holder when that tool is actually in the spindle. It's not showing a tool in the spindle. So we'll play with that and get that corrected. We need to go ahead and realign it right now anyway. All right, so I've got my manual out, reading the instructions on how to adjust the tool tray alignment, set the tool tray height and the encoder position. So that's the steps I'm gonna go through in my manual, it's on page 63. First thing we need to do is, so we've got a tool in the spindle, and from the path palette interface on the ATC tab, select reference tool tray. So we need to reference the tool tray. And that did cause the tool tray to spin, do all kinds of things. I need to get it back to my opening. All right, so I've just used tray forward, got it back to my open space. So we've rotated that a couple of times to reset it. Air is off, I'm gonna slide this forward. All right, we're gonna jog this down. So I definitely need to go counterclockwise quite a bit, so counterclockwise is going to be minus. So I'll hit minus up here on the interface. All right, I missed something on the screen here before. When I hit set tool change position, or when I hit set TC position, I had to set tool change posi position to Z negative 3.54. So let me hit okay. Got that lined up. I'm happy with how that's seated in there. Let's go back over here. Now it says we're gonna push this again. Okay, now I'm gonna set this one. Are you sure you wanna change the current BT30 spindle alignment position? Rotate the tool clockwise in the tray fork by hand, hold in place and select it. Can't rotate the tool. All right, I had to back the tray off, rotate it a couple times, put the tray back in. Now here is where I decide that it's time to correct the position of tool number 50 and get it located in the spindle instead of in the automatic tool changer so I can test this out and see if it works. In my infinite wisdom, I go and I hit the remove button on the automatic tool changer, thinking I'm gonna get a pop-up where it'll ask me if I want it to fetch it from the tool changer or not. <laughs> And what actually happens off camera here, you can maybe sort of see it over there in the corner, is my Tormach tries to fetch tool number 50 when tool number 50 is already in the spindle. Needless to say, there is a crash and uh, some maybe choice words said off camera. Thankfully, there's a lot of flex in that tool changer and the only real damage seems to be to my pride. Hey, my real guidance here is this alignment step on the automatic tool changer, not something you're gonna do very often. Make sure you take your time, don't rush it, read the instructions carefully, just go through everything carefully as you're doing that, and hey, try to avoid making a mistake like I just did. All right, so somewhere in the realignment, it still had my tool number 50 in the tool tray. I hit remove, it tried to get the tool. That was not a good scenario, that didn't play out well. So I should have just removed the tool from the spindle first, and then hit remove. Regardless, now I think it believes that my tool is in the spindle, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to store the current tool. Let's see how our alignment is looking here. All right, alignment seems to be good. I'm gonna randomly grab another tool. I'm gonna tell it to get tool 40. We seem to be back up and running with our tool changer. Well, YouTube, that's a wrap on another video here in the Blades to Be shop. We swapped out this red board. We've got the green board in place. Everything went really smooth except for trying to catch the tool tray up to where it left off from last time and the tools that were in there. So uh, thankfully, didn't break anything from that, but everything seems to be lined up again. 
hopefully this will help you if you need to make the swap. And if you have one of these red boards, uh, just you may want to open up your cover and look inside. And it sounds like you may just want to expect this error to catch up with you and hit you at some point. So again, if it's late on a Sunday, late in an evening, you can't get a hold of Tormach exactly at that time. Hopefully you found this video and it answers some questions for you. If you like the video, hit like on there. If you like the channel, would love it if you'd subscribe and support our Blades to Be channel. Till next time, hope you're out in your own shop working on some fun projects. I'll be here trying to work on another cool video for you. Till then, y'all take care.